Let's see who's connected right now. Eliana, hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. Sorry, I'm driving to my house. Okay, uh, let me know as soon as you get there. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Heidi?
Hello, Ada. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, ready for tonight? Ready for um, a rest, a lot of work for the. Oh, tired. You're tired. You're tired. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. And you, what teacher? Can we do? Me. Wow, me. I'm, you know, same old story here. Ready to start class, you know. My problem is that I'm a workaholic. I love it. Okay. I love working. Yes. So, I uh, love working in four cirurgies per day. Four surgeries. Okay. And yeah. I'm sorry, the question what type of surgeon are you? Are you a cirurgist? Is vascular peripheric? Oh, really? Wow. vascular. Yes, and the Seguro Social. Oh, that's nice. Yes, right? Oh, you keep busy all the time. Very busy. Very, yes. Well, welcome to the class, Ada. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm ready. Ready to start the class? Ready to start the class. Always That's ready. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, how was your day? What's a very productive day. Thanks, God. Oh, nice. Very productive day. Would you mind ask, me asking you, what do you do? Sorry? What do you do? I'm branch manager at Banco Cuscatlan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. So, man, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working there for 26 years. For real? Mm -hmm. Wow, 26 years. My gosh. Man, you look pretty young. <laughs> you don't look like you've been working I, for 20. I look like, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, well, you know, it's better your way. I look old because I am old. So <laughs> my case is terrible. So tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Me? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, today we uh, we signed a, um, a mortgage. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice for my goals and, and all and for sort you. of, yeah. And for the ones who are having a new house, they look happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, when you get the mortgage the first month, you are very happy until it's payday, man. It's <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I remember first time I, I got, the first time I did it, well, you know, in my case, it was funny. The first time I got the mortgage, I was like 24 or 20, yeah, 24 years old. And the funny thing was that my wife chose the house and she picked the house and I just came to, to, to San Salvador to sign and then went back to work. I didn't even see the house. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm not that much into that. Second time, the second time we did it, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I had already seen the house, but eh, it was a long time ago. I hope one day I finish paying. 
Well, everybody, but that's, I mean, that's the way, unless you got, uh, I mean, more money or perhaps better salary, you can get it. But there's there are some benefits of paying a mortgage, like uh, the insurance is good. Yeah, no. If you pay well, more than more than the the amount you have to pay monthly, you finish faster. Yeah, yeah, of course. The problem is that I spend too much money. <laughs> I spend as fast as I get it. <laughs> Heidi, always a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, who else is around? Mr. Jose Rivas, hello, how are you? Sorry, uh, I'm good, I'm good. So now it's rainy cats and dogs. But I can say that it's, everything is good. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. And tell me, how was your day? Did you have a good day? Uh, yes, it was really good. Really okay. good. What time did you finish working, Mister? Uh, around six minutes. I'm sorry. Around six minutes ago. Around six minutes ago. Oh my gosh, you're working from home. Yes. Okay. Well, that's nice because I mean, wow. It's a hard schedule. What time do you start working? Uh, from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. From 1 p.m. to, oh my gosh, it's a hard day for you. <laughs> I can say it's, today it was good because it was my short day. So oh, really? I had to cover, yes, I had to cover one hour in the morning in order that I can assist uh, to the meeting. Okay. Yep. Well. Well, you keep busy, you keep busy. That's very important right now. Thank yeah. you very much for being here and welcome to the class. You're welcome. Thanks so much. So let's see who else is around. Jose Wilfredo, hello, mister. How are you? So far, so good, teacher. Today was a busy day because I have to went, I had to went to my company to switch I have my to go. computer. I had to go. <clears throat> yeah, you, said, you said I have to win. Yeah, I have okay. with HAD. Yeah, HAD. You have to go to the company to what? You told me? To switch my computer. Okay. Oh, really? Did they give yeah. you a new, a new one or were they fixing it? Yeah, no, uh, I have to do a new one with a better uh, feature because I need to use other kind of program that is uh, heavy for the system. Okay. How much RAM do so, you got now? Well, uh, today I got one that has one processor. I, I guess that we can say yeah. processor. Okay, processor uh, seven, E seven. Okay. So well, that's it what. It depends on the on the generation. Yeah. But but uh, as you are telling me that the demand is for something a little bit heavier. I imagine that it's uh, something new. Oh yeah, that's right. And that is because I need to be connecting in some meetings with uh, real life, um, real life, what real life person with other uh, people that are in, in this country. Okay, on real time? Yep. Okay. 
It's so, good. I mean, yeah. whenever you get new equipment, it's good because actually nowadays, I mean, your type of job, it, it uh, facilitates your activities, I imagine, yeah. right? That's right, that's right. So I spend a lot of time right there. Yeah. If we start talking about connection, that's a whole different story, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. When they gave me the, the new computer, so I have to test it and I have to check that all program was set up like has to be. And well, today I can say that I don't, I'm not doing a, a lot, a lot of things. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. But let's see I how tomorrow goes. Yeah, I guess that tomorrow is gonna be uh, heavy because I need to begin to I need to begin to to uh, access to a lot of uh, platform uh, that I need to review and well. Let's hope it doesn't. You don't have any type of trouble with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm saving those energy for the, for that. Yeah, because that happens sometimes when you trade your equipment, man. Sometimes you have to face some difficulties right at the beginning, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. But well, I guess that I can say that I'm ready. Okay, well, that's the attitude, my friend. Yeah. That's very important to keep a good attitude. Welcome to the class, Professor Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher. Frank, hello, Frank. How are you? Hello, teacher. Nice to see you again. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm just fine, just cool, just cool. What about you? Tell me. Oh, you home? Yeah, I'm at home. I'm home right now. Tomorrow I go to the Man, but... <laughs> with this weather right now, yeah, don't even mention it. I don't like you, man. You go to a good yeah, weather. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's, it's horrible here. Uh, the yeah, weather here is terrible. It has been terrible, but yeah. uh, tomorrow I go, I go there. So I hope that everything's gonna be okay there yeah at least it's gonna be fresher i imagine at night at least at night. yes 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 uh, uh, actually well the the last week the weather always it was fresh but not too much right because i mean yeah because like, here we were roasting you know roasting yeah 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 over yeah so yeah, you know, it's you know what fresh. I do at night is just to 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 roll over myself on my bed so I can roast evenly. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you understand that word? Evenly. Yeah. Evenly. Decía mi abuelo. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can cook myself completely. Yes. Man, evenly. it's been hot. Okay. Yeah, very hot. I I just finished to do some workouts, but I sweat a lot <laughs> because, oh, yeah, wow, man. it's terrible, yeah. what is terrible. Actually, I'm just arriving from the from the gym, man. I was sweating as a pig today. Yeah, yeah, terrible. me too, too. <laughs> me too, yeah. Hey, friend, but, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher, thank you. Let's see, where's Anna Claudia? I know she's here. Oh, there she is. Ana Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, well, I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? I'm doing very well, but yes, you're right with the weather. And today, here in my city in Santana, uh, here in my area, there was like an attempt to rain. I don't know how you name when I'm a Yovina. What did I don't know how you call them, but at the end, oh, it was terrible. It's uh, the weather is hot. The sensation you feel is uh, 
It's terrible, yeah. but mm -hmm. uh, so far so good in my job. I'm trying to reach my my goal, my revenue goal, and okay. it's like this day was kind of multitasking because there are new uh, colleagues, so uh, we are. Uh, all in my team, we are like mentoring in process to all of them. And you know, when we have you have new colleagues, they are asking for all the process because there are new tools. And my account is a kind of complex. We do a lot of things, but eh, so far so good. Uh, this was a, a good day. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Drizzle. That's the word you were asking me for. Uh, yeah. Okay, drizzle. Ah, okay, thank you. I will take note. And the, the other one you brought evenly, uh, what is the meaning of that you say? Evenly, uh, no, I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Uh, is that, you use it when you want to say the like uh, complete. But uh, mm. uniform. Ah, okay. okay, okay. The same in both sides. Let's name it in that. Yeah, exactly the same. In like both when you are sides. Uh -huh. when you are tan. <laughs> well, when you are like painting, and okay. uh, in my case, as I was telling. Uh, 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 it's just that it's been so hot that I just turn over so I can roast. Ah, that was the meaning. <laughs> roast okay, thank you. Evenly. Evenly. You know? Ah, okay. Yeah. Así me cocino, ah, okay. Me parejo. <laughs> okay, now I understand it. <laughs> that's that's why I was telling him that what I do is that I just roll over myself on my bed my so I can God. roast. Evenly, because <laughs> man, it's been hot. Yes, yes. Terribly hot. Yes, it's terribly hot. But, you know, the funny thing is this, that uh, it's not the worst yet. Yes, that is what my mom was telling me. It's not the, the holy, I, the holy seas? No, the holy, we, we say it, holy week. I know it's incorrect, holy week. Easter. The Eastern, okay. It's not Eastern yet, and how? Oh, yeah. No, man. Just wait for June or July. That's going to be fun. Do you think so? I think the worst is March and April. For me, I think. Well, you know, here in the Salvador, for me, almost every day in the year. <laughs> oh, my God. It's too hot. Yes, it's too hot. Hi, Claudia. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see what's around. Um, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How, how's business? Mm, my day was relaxed because I, I don't have a lot of calls. Oh, really? Well, let's hope tomorrow gets better. The good thing is that you already reached your goal, right? Yes, yes, I, I hope tomorrow will be better than today. Yeah, yeah, you're, I mean, when you're in your area that is sales, that's the, the, the way it goes. Some days are pretty good, some days are pretty calm, exactly. right? Some days uh, is a good day or not, or any clients. Yeah. That happens, you know? I don't know how you do it because I mean, for me, I would be like desperate. But I, the good I thing learned is, to have a, a little patience with some be, people to because. Be. Sorry? To be patient. To be patient. To be patient. Ah, sorry. sorry. Okay. Because sometimes. Uh, the people is, I don't know, un poco renuente. I don't know how do you say renuente. 
Okay, let me text it for you. Reluctant. That's the way you are looking for, reluctant. Reluctant. Yep. Reluctant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes people is reluctant and some people takes longer for them to to make up their minds, right? Yes. Yeah, that's normal. That's part of the joke. Ambar, welcome to the class. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you, teacher. Hey guys, before we move on, let me please get the uh, the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me just fix this up. Ambar Eli Alparo Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Teacher. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres. Here I am. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Ileana. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Marco Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present, teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granado. Present. Ah, pues sí, está marcado. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ro Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's continue. I still got a few minutes. Hey, Diana. Oh, you made it home. Yeah. Okay, well, what time do you finish working? Because you're getting to your home late. No, no, uh, is that my brother sold his car, so I have to pick up him at his work. I have to pick him up. I have to pick him, pick him. Yeah, I pick have him. to pick him up at his job. Pick him up, okay. So Say it yeah. again, please. I have to pick him out at his... Let me text it first. Okay. <laughs> I can it hear you, Will. How to pick okay, him okay. up? I had to job. pick him up at his job. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. And how long does it take you to get from his job to your house? Mm, about ten or fifteen minutes. Hmm. That's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Ten to fifteen minutes. Wow, that's pretty close. Yeah. Okay, but the good thing is that you are able to go, you have the time to make it. Yes. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. And there's coming the, 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 the winter season. You gotta be careful driving at night. What, sorry? Winter is coming, so you gotta be careful driving at night, right? Ah, yes, yes, yes. When it starts to rain? Uh, the street uh, sometimes 
uh, I don't know how to say, um, suelen ponerse, no sé, como resbalosos. It gets slippery. Okay, it gets slippery. Yeah, it does. Well, you know, something funny is that I love driving at night and I love driving when it rains. Why? It kind of relaxes me. Yeah. The the the, the noise of the of the rain on the wind chill on the car, it relaxes me. I like it. I love but the, it's dangerous. Yeah, I love the, the noise of the noise of the rain, but when I'm on my bedroom. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. So you can relax, right? Yeah. And I sleep better. Yeah. Well, you know, for me for a sleep. It's kind, it's... it's kind of relaxing for me when I'm sleeping, the noise of the rain at my window. Yeah, of course. I mean, and it's even better if it gets fresh, right? Yes. Yeah, I like it too. Ileana, a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, Roxana, how are you? Hi, Roxana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Hello. everything is okay. Okay. The, my work is actually I think that is very busy because I need to check a lot of report. Uh, the last time we had some troubles with some payment and I need to look in for all things, all um, documents and looking for uh, whatever. <laughs> and decide if some uh, vendors or some items needed to uh, pay or not. So I need to- Be paid, to, to be paid. To be paid or not, yeah. So I am, now I am uh, looking for whatever. For everything and anything at the same time. Yes, yeah. whatever, whatever uh, I I see, I need to report and I need to, and I need to decide if I will pay or not. Because um, the trouble now is with uh, all vendors because uh, now we don't have enough information about some inactive vendors. So we need to look in for in the email and some um, files, you know. So you are love, love from some and paid by others. Yes, so it's complex because uh, you are looking for, but you don't know what what you are looking you are, for. Yes, it's, it's, yeah, it's complex. Well, so, you know, uh, that's called serendipity. When you find something you were not looking for. Yeah, but the thing is that right now I need to uh, check a lot of information. Uh, well, you know, it's good that finally you are like working. Always <laughs> I'm working. So the the, the yeah, well, if you trouble. asked your classmates last last module, you were on vacation almost the whole module. No, no. you know, they are on vacation all the time. But in my case, it's a little different. Yeah, sure. So the but thing is a, that yeah, tell me, tell me. that that uh, that activity is um, extraordinary. Extraordinary extraordinary so i need to check my emails because there is had a lot of emails in my in my inbox e oh really what keep busy it's always good yeah roxana welcome thank you maria alejandra hi teacher Good evening. Hello, Maria. Good evening. 
Hello, Maria Alejandra. Tell me, what was there for dinner tonight? <laughs> Tell me, were there French fries? No, teacher. Today I bought a uh, uh, Mexican food. <laughs> oh, really? What did you have for dinner then? Tacos and gringas. Near oh, really? to my house, in uh, the business name is uh, Jalapeños. <laughs> okay. And oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. You know, because... you know a dish that uh, a Mexican dish that uh, Roxana recommended to me the other day was uh, chapulines, fried. Uh, no. Delicious. <laughs> I think that I don't prepare for taste. <laughs> oh, they are they are uh, crunchy. They are crunchy. <laughs> no, I think cool. like to eat uh, grillos. <laughs> In, it's I almost think. the same. It's, <laughs> yeah, but it's crunchy. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I have opportunity to taste, I try to eat. But I don't yeah. know. I don't promise. You will, you will have fun. <laughs> Believe me. It's delicious. Okay. The name is the name in English is um grasshoppers. Yeah, grasshoppers, right? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Grasshoppers. <laughs> yeah, they are delicious. I mean, deep fried, very crunchy, a lot of hot sauce. You enjoy it? I don't know, but... You, you go like, thanks, but no thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't prepare to taste it. But oh if in the future I have an opportunity to taste or prove, yeah. I try. Maybe yeah. one. Try it. I mean, there are worse things in life to it. I mean... Let's see. It's kind of exotic for us, but actually it's not like big deal. It's just protein. It's good. Okay. Maria Alejandra, welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's let's see. Well, uh, welcome everyone. I'm so sorry that I couldn't greet all of you, but um, there's time to move on to some other activities. Let's see, there's Nicholas, there's um, Jacqueline. There's uh, Rebecca, Stephanie, oh, Stephanie, taxes, man, terrible. I'm kidding, Stephanie. And there's <laughs> Henry, yeah, terrible, terrible. There's Francisco, Fernando, Susana, welcome all of you. So nice to have a full house, I really like it. I really like it. Okay, guys, tonight, what are we going to do? Well, we have uh, certain activities, we are going to work in the manual. We're going to have a short conversations and that you're going to have with your classmates. And you're, we are going to be talking about different topics. We're going to have some discussions, okay? Now we are going to be, to go back on our memories. I got a question for you. And it's a very, very interesting question. When you were a kid, what did you think your life would look like now? I mean, when we were kids, we were always like dreaming about the future, right? And some of us have good memories like, oh, when I was a kid, I thought I was gonna be uh, perhaps what you are right now, or perhaps you have different dreams. That's what I want you to share with your classmates, okay? Your dreams, the dreams are the expectatives you had about life when you were a kid. Okay, guys, you're going to be working in small groups and of three and four members, and you will have five minutes for the discussion. No, actually, eight minutes. I'm sorry, I was taking my, my lesson. Part. You will have eight minutes for the discussion, and then we are going to come back here, and I will ask some of you about your classmates' dreams, okay? Let's jump in. I'm going to be moving from group to group. If you need any help, give me a holler, please.
Let's see who has not jumped in. Hmm. Roxana and Susana. Hello, hello, Stephanie. Hello. You know, it's because you work in taxes. That's why uh, Susana <laughs> and Roxana didn't want to join you. No. And I, I was alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> hello, teacher. Yeah, Roxana told me, you know, Stephanie works with taxes. <laughs> I don't want to work with her. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I was checking some task. No estaré de mi hijo, perdón. Homeworks. Homeworks. Yeah, actually, yeah. you know something funny? I was thinking when I was having a conversation with you, I was thinking about asking you, how are you doing with homeworks? Uh, it's terrible, teacher. It's very complex because uh, my son is now is only studying online. Studying. Studying online. So it's complex because sometimes I I try to hear, hear the class. And I don't know, to be honest, uh, the teacher assigned to the to the grade. It's not much professional for me. Okay, which course is he in that? Fourth. Fourth, okay. Which mm. subject is the one that is giving you problems? The thing is that the teacher is the most, most part of the time just uh, show some videos and ask for some resumes or Something like that. For me, it's, it's, it's not a class. So because I could check a video and take notes by myself. But when you are talking about a classroom, classmate, or I don't know, it's complex because I, I think that the teacher needed to needs to explain more okay, yeah I get, so. you, I get you okay Roxana, the word you were you need to use is summary resuming summary oh okay summary okay thank you yeah resume is well uh, remember if it got accent yes if not, is reanudar o continuar. Oh, okay. It's different for the pronunciation. Yeah, resume. Resume, CV. Yep, but like this, resume. 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 Yeah, like that. Resume French. or re? Resume. Resume. Hey, it's French. Oh, okay. But it's a, it's a French word. Yep, yeah, and it's part of English language. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. You understand, I mean, you spend all day chateando, right? That's English. Me cuesta el inglés, ahora imagínese el, el, el francés, no. Yeah, but it's... I mean, it's just that some languages, they always include words from uh, from another language. Like uh, we use, now we use sanitizar. That thing doesn't exist in Spanish, actually. Satin. <laughs> sanitizar. Yeah, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a word from English to sanitize. Mm, okay. okay. But we adopt it. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I digress, please. Well, guys, I'm gone. A lot. We're changed a lot. But I remember that I always want to study uh, some career related with nature, plants, environment, and something like that. And that's, that, that is a, that is a, a reality because I started those kind of, of topics, right? Is Jacqueline, 
Chong. Oh. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Heidi. Hey, it's very interesting here. You got a pilot, a vet, and an artist by now. We're just missing Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Jacqueline. I'm here. I was listening. <laughs> it was interesting to know about what were your dreams. Where you okay, were what about yours? Uh, well, when I was a child, I wanted to become a chef. A oh, chef. Really? Yes, because my mom was a, a good. Well, for me, when I was a child, my mom uh, always prepared the best food that I ever tasted. And I said, when I grow up, I would like to become a, um, a chef, a famous chef, and also have a famous restaurant. But <laughs> yes, um, nowadays, uh, my job is it's in, uh, it's not related with that uh, dream. I work in a school, and I'm studying to become a teacher. Oh, really? Where do you work? Well, I mean, what do you teach? Ah, just to preschoolers. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Kindergarten. So you are studying a preschool? Yes. But I work in a small school um, just to uh, teacher's assistant. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, as a TA. Where do you work? Uh, in Mexicano. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. That's great. Ah, oh, you know, yeah. working as a teacher. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but from since pandemic, <laughs> it was it's been... <laughs> difficult. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know how do you do it with little kiddos, <laughs> man. <laughs> little kids it's very hard. not not for me i mean i love working with adults and teenagers but with little kids <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible yes it's terrible you have to take care of the kids that they don't put off the mask that they don't touch any surfaces yeah. without <laughs> Don't, don't oh, even well, mention it. Don't even it, mention it. No. <laughs> but every day is a different story, and you have the opportunity to to take care of the children that maybe in their homes they didn't have the a uh, you um because their parents are always working. And yeah, yeah I understand day. you. How long have you yeah. been working as a teacher? <laughs> or as a TA? Uh, 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 three years. Oh, that's mm -hmm. why. Before yeah, that, I've I been, was... I, yeah, tell me. Before that, I was working, but only as a secretary. Oh, working secretary. there, yes, a secretary. And working there, I feel the... You hear the call. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the word. Uh -huh. Well, but that's why. Reason, that's why. I've been, I wa I've been at this for 20, 22 years now. 22 years. Wow. Yeah, I've been working as a teacher for 22 years. Actually, I started when I was 20. 20. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I started well. working at the, at the university. And well, I have worked, well, let me see, I have worked for two universities, for Pedagogica, then for Don Bosco. That's why I tell you, I love working with all those. All those. Yeah. <laughs> I love and working teenagers. with children. No, man, yeah. children, little kids, I like them. Far away. What about you, Heidi? How many kids do you have? Do you have oh, kids I on got, your own? I got three kids. Three? 21, 9, and 7. 
21, 9, and 7. Man, that's a big mm -hmm. gap. <laughs> yeah, I got my own kindergarten here in the house. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know how you did it after, I mean, 21 and 9. So that kid was like, what? 13? It was like 13. Mm -hmm. Man, that's I a big gap. I had to start all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. No way, Jose. I just got one. Yeah, I, I have got, a lot of I, fun weekends. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Man, the first year is hard not sleeping. Yeah, the whole weekend. Mama, mama. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. What about you, Rebecca? Do you have kids? No, no, I don't have a single. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. I, I try to remember how how does it feel to be single, no kids. <laughs> it was so long ago. But it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I love my life. And, and, and you <laughs> rub it, it. You rub it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, she says, oh, yeah, free, no problem, man. That's yeah, so that's nice, true. so nice. Yeah, no, I was, I was single, that's it. Well, actually, I've been, my son is 19. <laughs> How long have you been married, Heidi? Uh, I have gotten married two times. With okay. My second husband. At 10 years. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And now in my case, let's see. Mary, 19. 19. Hmm. Yeah, exactly that. A long while, a long while. It's yeah. fun. <laughs> it's fun, you know. After you pass like 10 years, it's, it's easy. What about you, Jacqueline? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, you married, okay. single? Uh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> Say what? A process of to get the divorce. 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 All right. Divorce. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh. And I have three children. The older is. 19 years old the oldest the oldest sorry the oldest well actually actually you know uh, we have a mis mispronunciation here must be the oldest the the, the oldest yeah ah. the word t-h-e the article uh -huh. t-h-e if it's if it precedes a vowel son a vowel son d it is pronounced as d D. Okay. If it precedes a consonant sound, it's pronounced as the or that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So the oldest is... Hey, yeah, it's it's quite interesting, right? Yeah. D for the D precedes for the vowel sound. Yeah. You know, first time I I got corrected on that actually was by an uh, an American fellow. Mm -hmm. And we were learning, I was learning the, the, the national anthem, the United States national anthem. Mm -hmm. We were singing that and he corrected me with that. And I was like, mm. I started looking up in books and he was completely right. The pronunciation is deep. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, teacher. No, no, cool. I'm sorry, I need to go check on the other groups to see if they are finished, ladies. Okay. It's a complicated career. <laughs> I don't know. Career, to... career. Career. Okay, like which, is your, which is your career, Mother Marcos? Um, currently studying, I'm currently studying a um, degree in science computer. Computer <laughs> science. Hmm. Well, I'm yeah, well, all careers got uh, its tricky parts. 
Uh, Ada, you told me you're a surgeon, right? Yes. What about you, Liana? What do you do? What do you work? Uh, we're at Claro, El Salvador. Okay. I am a country director assistant. A what? Country director assistant. Oh, really? Yeah. What's that? What? What's that? Would you mind elaborating for me? Uh, do you, well, I, I don't know what to say. Do you ask me what, why, what am I do at my work? Yeah, exactly. That's why you uh, told me what's the position you hold. Then I ask you, would you mind elaborating? That's, that means, would you mind explaining to me? Yeah, uh, well, the most of the time uh, I have to, I have to, to be scheduling meetings and, and all the things that turn around my boss, that he's the director of Claro. Okay. So uh, sometimes I have to do some reports for him or I have to, I don't know what to say, liberar or release. Algo así como release. Auto, release. Or autorizar. Yeah, oh, authorize. Yeah. Authorize, yes. Yeah. Some kind of, of, uh, of solicitude, sorry. Request. Request, this request. Okay, yeah, so I have to be in communication with all the areas, uh, uh, corporate, corporative area, uh, merchandising, and in general, ah. I have to be in communication with all the areas. Ah, and you don't I have do to nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's so, money, it's money, right? <laughs> Hard work. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy where I am right now. So your so, area is more administrative? Yeah, yeah. More administrative so, than operational. I imagine that your specialty is on administration. Yeah, I graduated on um, business administration the last year. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And hey, you know what I hate of administration is statistics. Yeah, it's. I, I'm well, taking I'm taking that subject right now because I'm I'm starting a second career. And I'm in my fourth year. But man, statistics, oh, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Believe me, I share that. I share that feeling with you. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's the worst thing ever. And I have to take it this, this semester, man. I don't know how I'm going to do because it's terrible. I don't like it. I don't really like it. And in my previous career, I didn't take it statistics oh so so it's that, first time that's for me. a good thing you're studying yeah. something different yeah kicked out okay let's see Heidi tell me about your one of your classmates dreams sure I'll talk to you about Henry's dreams um okay he he wanted to be a pilot because oh, really? he loved to see aircrafts and, and he was dreaming about visiting his family. Okay, cool. Actually, he's an engineer. <laughs> okay, he's an but engineer. He's on the way, right? He's on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's getting there. Made. He's getting there. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Uh, Marcos, what about you? Tell me about one of your classmates. Um, one of my classmates uh, dreamt uh, to be a singer. Uh, singer? She, singer, yeah. Because she likes to music and um, 
she thinks is relaxing to the team. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, singer. It's hard, really hard. I mean, when you get into the arts, oh, that's a whole different world. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's see, Ana Claudia, what about you? Tell me about one of your classmates. Hi, teacher. Uh, one of my classmates was Nicolas. And okay, tell me about Nicolas. <laughs> he wanted That's to interesting. Be, okay, he wanted to be a to be in the army, to be a soldier. But oh, when, really? uh -huh, but when he thinks nowadays, he the situation he thinks now is okay. <laughs> but he had okay. the dream to be in the army. Uh -huh. mm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, actually, uh, Mm. The army is a nice career, but it's heavy, hard. I don't it's know. For well, being in the army it. hard. <laughs> that's pretty hard. I remember. Uh, well, I was I was in a military. Uh, how do you say that in English? Internado. Oh, I always forget that word. Academy or something. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, but uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a military academy, but I mean, I was a kid. Mm. I was a kid, I was like, uh, what, 10? Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, it was fun. I like it, actually, I like it, but it was heavy. Very okay. heavy, yeah. Yeah, as, you, as he says, look in the situation nowadays. Uh, thanks, but not thanks. Excuse me, do you <laughs> go to the war? <laughs> no, I'm old, but not that old. <laughs> I am okay. 42. Uh, at for, that time, I was a kid. For the records, teacher, how old are you? <laughs> 42. 42, really? Yeah. Yeah, and Haiti goes like, nah, he looks older. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes, I, 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 I know my friend, she would be thinking something like that. <laughs> no, yeah. oh. no, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that I'm for, I'm going to be 45. Oh, well, mm -hmm. you're young, you're pretty young, okay? You don't look <laughs> like. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't feel like that age. Also, that's really cool. like that. <laughs> well, that's cool. I do. I do. It's just that in I've been mind, around. In my mind, I always celebrate 30s. That's cool. I'm about 15, 15 years um, I celebrate celebrating 30s. the 30s. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Hey, that's a good tip. I will do it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Now, let's see. Ramon, Ramon, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Good evening, teacher. My classmate, um, tell tell me he he thinks that the the real life uh, very different that uh, that that he thinks when uh, when we when we uh, were kids. Yeah, of course. Um. Like uh, um, like me, I I I I think that I want to uh, study to a doctor career, and finally I study um, engineer career. Okay, yeah, a little bit different, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, interesting. Thank you. Now let's see, let's see. Uh, Rebecca, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Well, I will talk about Jacqueline. Okay, tell me about her. She told us that when she was a child, she wanted to be a chef because okay. uh, she really loves her mother's food. And uh, he, she says that 
he wanted to be a professional and have a and has a a restaurant, a famous restaurant, and cook for everyone there. Oh, nice! And does mm -hmm. she cook? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh well, thank you, thank you. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. You are honest. You are being honest. Jose Wilfredo, your turn. Okay, teacher. Do you wanna that I talk about one of my classmates or please do my okay about one of them? Okay, I'm worried toss that she graduated. One and two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she graduated like something like commercial or something like that. Uh -huh. and, but now she works like seller person. As a seller, as, as, as a, a sales seller person. person. Yeah. Sales um, person. Oh, well, uh, she works as sales person. Okay, perfect. So that's uh, one yeah, of my kind of. Well, okay, what about yours? Oh, my. <laughs> My was a crazy, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking, uh, I thought that when I was a child, I want to be a soldier. I don't know why. And okay. Now. Well, that, that makes I cool because Nicolas wanted to be the same. Okay. Maybe we're going to be a, a classmate or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> But okay. now I have my own business and I work at call center. So to a whole different business. story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I still got time for one more. Thank you. So Fernando, oh. you around? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So tell me, Fernando, what about yours? What was yours? Uh when when I was a kid, I I dreaming with Oh, I wanted to be a businessman. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I remember that I have a play similar to Monopoly, okay. but different. Gram, Gram Banco. A game, I a guess. game. Oh, a game. Yeah, Gram Banco, I guess. Okay, and what did you study, Fernando? Uh, <laughs> I'm engineering. In computers, right? Yeah, system engineering, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, yeah but, a little bit different. But I think that I I can still do well, it. Yeah, you can, of course. Yeah, I'm young. I'm <laughs> I have yeah, the, you are. the dream. So only I need the money for start. <laughs> but yeah, but you know. Details, details. You don't need to start big. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, of course so, you can. So I can do it. Okay. Thank you, Fernando. <laughs> Thanks to you. Francisco, where's Francisco? What about you, Francisco? Tell me about yours. Hello, teacher. Hello, what about yours? Well, what was your dream? I, when I was a child, teacher. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I, uh, my dream, uh, 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 it was uh, to be an astronaut. <laughs> okay. Uh, be because in, in, in this time, uh, I climb uh, that, that topic. Uh, for example, uh, uh, I, in this time, I, I uh, uh, I read, I read uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, articles about the, the space. Okay, well, that's quite interesting. That one is new one for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you. Hey guys, let me get the second attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. 
Henry Neftali Mendes Torres. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. Just let me do a little something here. Just a second. Bear with me, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Now, 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 now. Okay, let's see. Now, still talking about fantasies and wishes and something different, something completely, totally different. I got a question, another question for you. Now, if you had to pick any character in a book, movie, or TV show, who is most similar to you? Who would you choose? Why? Think about it, okay? This is getting interesting, right? So you're going, today you're talking about yourself. What I'm giving you are like topics that can be, can happen in a, in a normal conversation between friends or people that you are getting to know. So I need you to think about that. If you have to pick any character in a book, movie or TV show, who is most similar to you? Who would you choose and why? Okay, for this one, just five minutes. So hurry up, jump in. Yeah, mm, and I think that I maybe I I choose Blair because uh, she is very safe okay. by herself, and I don't know maybe she has whatever that she dreams. 
Oh. No soy así, pero me gustaría. Oh. <laughs> I like. Blair, I was telling that I start to watching a serie. How do you say serie? Uh -huh. Serious. 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 On HBO. Okay. Her name, uh, the name is Gossip Girl. And the, the girl that I choose is Blair. She is a rich person. Do mm -hmm. you know Gossip Girl? No, no my thing. See. No my thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she is a rich girl and she had whatever that she wants. And she is very safe, sometimes, I guess. And I don't know, maybe I don't, I don't have a lot of money, but I want. <laughs> so she travel with her friends or with her family and buy a lot of shoes that are clothes and something like that. Maybe I choose her. Okay. I perfect. like it. I like it. <laughs> I don't have and a very your... character. <laughs> yeah, Susana. it's complex. Hello. Hello, Susana. What about you? Which character would you choose? Um. Found your character, and Henry. Oh. Okay, do you have seen on TV? Um, the Avengers, uh, yes, part of it, but please tell me. Maybe. Okay, I would like to be Thanos because, okay, oh, because Thanos Nanos. is a okay, <laughs> Thanos. Yeah, Thanos, Thanos okay. for, from the Avengers because sometimes I'm inevitable. <laughs> mm, Interesting. Yeah. You know, from Avengers, my favorite one was the raccoon. Why? Why? Yeah. Because he's uh, a cynic. Okay. I like that. And, 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 and dark, what 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 and what 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 you telling me? Okay. From Avengers, what what do you prefer? Villain. Villain. Hmm. No, actually, no. I mean, Do you get it or no? Yeah, I yeah, can yeah, repeat sure, if sure. you want. No, 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 I got it. It's just that none of them. I mean, uh, it's just that I, I like the dark characters. Those are oh my, my favorite ones. What? You Henry, know what, you, Anna Claudia? Maybe it's you, good for you, you to imagine... know that the teacher was a rock star, was uh, just see his face so calm but no <laughs> you know one of my favorite characters like in series was uh, house i loved him mm, because the i don't know how to say sarcasm. yeah yeah sarcasm. i love that sarcasm, sarcasm. I, love that. Mm. I do love that i mean for me that series was great. so if we ask you this question, you would like to be doctor. Hi, doctor. How was? Complex, complex. Remember <laughs> that I love reading also. I have I have read about so many characters. And the problem is this, that in my case, Ana Claudia, that I get, whenever I start reading, I mean, I get so immersed in what I'm reading that I oh, really? identify with all, with all characters sometimes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> If I start reading, if I start reading a book, I mean, uh, uh, 
And if you read Cinderella, for example, I get you identify with the wolf. Of course, but it's not my type of books. I know. <laughs> not my type of books. But I I really disconnect from the world, from the rest of the world whenever I start reading. Oh, also, great for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Great for you. No problem. Yeah, I love reading. And and it happened to me since I was a kid. I used to go like for me, reading when it's raining is the most beautiful moment. Mm. Mm. Great. Good idea. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I used to go. I had my, my, my special place when I was a kid, when I was like what, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. That when it was raining, I used to go there just to listen to the rain and start reading, getting a new book, a new story. I mean, I I'm think like that. That what uh -huh. maybe when it's raining, what I love is to smell the rain. That smell, I don't know. It's... Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I love the Count of Monte Cristo. It's a very good character. Mm. Dracula, <laughs> I guess. You would think. Bram Stoker. Hmm. Nice book. Yeah, I read it when I was a kid. Mm. I don't remember a lot of books I read that right now. I don't remember. It's like, you know, I mean, maybe I'm in a, a season that my mind is imposed. I don't watch too much TV and I don't read too much. It's, I don't know if it's that kind of stress because of my job. I don't know. I'm well, thinking. you know, you know, uh, there was a moment in my life, like last year, when I realized that uh, social media was taking time from my reading. So I disconnected oh. from social media, and now I got more time for reading. Mm -hmm. And that's no, something not, I, I do enjoy. I'm not addicted to social media, you know. I maybe. No, no, no. I'm telling you about me. Ah. No, I, maybe I think that I need to sleep, uh, to sleep, but to have a good sleep because that is maybe what is happening nowadays in my you feel tired. atmosphere. I uh have -huh, that I'm tired. Maybe if I sleep, I will be okay. But to sleep, yeah. to sleep, maybe the whole day. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let me go check another. Um, I'll see. <laughs> okay, Ambar, who's your character? Tell me. I think. What? Maybe. Maybe it's a a character in a MTV show. Is oh. Daniel Morgendorfer? Is a is a cartoon. Oh really? A, yes. <laughs> I wonder why Maria Alejandra is having so much fun. Yeah, because it's a quiet character. Uh, she she enjoyed uh, the loneliness, it's like me. <laughs> oh, well, that that makes two of us. Yes, uh, uh, she's a uh, a little bit sarcastic with another people <laughs> uh, you are my type of person I like mind. that I like that yes did you? <laughs> yeah I was telling uh, the guys in the other group that one of my favorite characters from series was she's uh, like me because House. she is a person como sería una persona de pocas palabras a few words a few words she is a person a few words yeah yeah i like that nice what about you jose wilfredo i guess he's gone okay, okay. who's your character katie tell me Your microphone.
my character? Yeah, the one that you would choose. Okay. I was telling my partners that uh, I felt identified with. Uh, have you seen the movie Lady Hawk? What? Lady Hawk, the movie. Not really. No, it, this movie is about um, a lady who is a hawk during the day and she's a lady during the night. And her husband is a man during the day and a wolf during the night. So they can't see each other. They can never see each other. Well, uh, you I'm, know, I have a couple of friends who work like that. <laughs> That's why I feel identified with that because when my husband is working, I'm sleeping and when I'm awake, he's sleeping so we can never talk. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. But that's that a happens. beautiful movie. Uh, they're under a spell that they uh, they can destroy until until they see each other as men and, and women, right? And I and think they, I they... have I think I have heard about it. I don't uh -huh. know if it was I if saw it was it. a book. Very it's beautiful most probably movie. That I, I don't remember it. the name. Uh, Lady Hawk. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I think I have El Hechizo del Halcón in Spanish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they destroyed the spell. Yeah, I did. I watched it. I watched it. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, and, and I tell my husband, hey, we're just like Lady Hawk and Capitan Navarra because we can never yeah. talk. <laughs> we can you go see like each other. that's us. That's us <laughs> completely. Okay, interesting. Thank you. And uh, Rebecca, what about you? Tell me, what's yours? Oops, perhaps not around. Uh, Jose Wilfredo, what about you? Okay, teacher. In my case, I don't have a like, favorite anything, but when I watch a movie, maybe I can choose a character like, like third person. Because I when you're watching a movie, you identify yourself. Yeah, I can identify okay. myself like like third person because I I am like all in the bed or, or all in the floor. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice. That's that's my case. Okay, let's see. What about you, Fernando? Fernando loves reading. That would be interesting. Yeah, by the way, it's a it's character of the book. Of okay, one book. which one? Uh, the Sound of Ice and Fire. Game okay. of Thrones for, for the yeah, for of popular. Course. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, okay. I... Okay, Snow. No, 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 no. I... Yes, that is great, but... I don't identify with him. I identify okay. with Tyron Lannister. Okay. Oh, Tyron? Tyron interesting. Lannister. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Yes, I Tyron Lannister loves breathing and loves beer. Yeah. Too. I know. <laughs> I know, I, I know. <laughs> uh, but I told you, uh, I told Fran, sorry, I told Fran that. I have a tattoo with one one phrase with of Tyrion Lannister. Which one is it? Uh, the phrase is uh, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. That's cool. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like that's it. That's nice. Uh, hey, according you know to it. my uh, according to my wife and, and my best friend, that phrase describe me. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you know. That's funny. I love reading and I never thought about getting a tattoo about something that I read. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you, Fernando. Nice. Okay, Let's see. Ada, what about you? Um, teacher, um, I, <laughs> my favorite is, uh, my favorite movie is uh, Braveheart. Is I love 
I love history. I not prefer watch TV and cinema or movies. I make up a very sleep. I, I in my case, it prefer read the book. I the favorite in the criminal and the sciences. And my okay. my favorite uh, is uh, the Agatha Christie. Okay. Uh, Agatha Christie book. I identify the and, and identify. I wish are the um, investigation and um, resolve the problems. In my case, I okay. like uh, real books. A lot of books. Oh, that makes two of us. I love reading. So if you like that, ah oh, man, you there's one character that perhaps you will like, K Scarpetta. I will try to remember in which book I got her, but it's a good one. And it's uh, it's it's crime. It's uh, it's about uh, cops, but it's also about medicine. It's very interesting. Yes, teacher. Uh, I'll try to remember which is the name of some of the books because actually there's many books with that character and I, I I need to look for them. I got a bunch of them right here next to me. Thank you, Ada. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Henry, what about you, Henry? Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, I wanna talk about myself or about my partner? About you, yourself. Okay. Please. Okay. When well, uh, maybe two, two weeks ago, I was watching a movie on TV, and I would like, I don't know, <laughs> I would like to be. Uh, Bajans, for example, I will. I like the Avengers. I would like to be Thanos. Okay. Uh, I was talking with my partner, uh, and and I like. I I don't know why, but I like, like to be a Bajan. Uh, by may. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. How do you pronounce Villano in English? Okay. Actually, I was gonna tell you about that and. Uh, but let me take the word for everybody. Okay. And the word is villain. Villain. The pronunciation of the word is villain. Like this. Villain, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, problem. Well, no, that's interesting. Thank you very much. Thanks for cheering. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I still got one minute and I wanna know, Maria Alejandra, what about you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> teacher. Do you yeah. remember when I talk about for a specific movie that your son see that uh, Eternal Sunshine? Oh yeah, I don't like the movie. <laughs> okay, I feel that as you said, different um, characteri uh, char characteristics characteristics than Clementine with me. But uh, I feel that in the movie or, the, or along of the movie to see a, a, a woman to very persist, persistent. Yeah. Uh -huh, persist and try to do everything to um, win a specific um, object or I don't know in this case uh try to pass uh the specific situation I think that I feel happy and she was happy in the movie <laughs> and I don't know 
but I like to Clementine. Okay, okay. Persistent. Persistent. Uh, persistent. Okay. Okay, cool. Eliana, what about you? Hi. Uh, the character that I chose was uh, one of a Disney movie from okay. the movie The Little Mermaid. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I feel kind of uh, identified with that character because she's very dreamy. Uh, she always wants to know more. Uh, she always wants to know new people. And okay. I feel very identified with that characteristic, not, not the characters. It's the characteristic that describe her okay. personality. So I, I choose her, yeah, because she's very Perfect. dreamy, yeah. No, that's cool, that's cool. Excellent, Roxana, what about you? Well, in my case, to be honest, I don't watch TV or platform but um i start to watching gossip girl and it's a series in hbo and i choose maybe blur because she's a rich person and she has a lot of uh, things that she wants and i think that uh, her Character, como se dice? How do you say character? Yeah, character. Her character is very hard because it's it's a um, mad person, maybe. But oh, when you say mad, you are talking mad, about molesta, enojada. Okay, then you don't say it like that. If you say that she is a mad person, you are saying she's crazy. Oh, okay. You say she gets mad easily. That means se enoja facilmente. Okay. You get mad. That means molestarse, enojarse. But if you say that somebody is mad, you're saying that that person is nuts. Okay. So, uh, Blair get, ¿cómo? Get gets mad, mad easily. Get, okay. get mad easily. That's you. Right. Yeah, Amana. like me. Yeah, yeah. Well, we believe you. We believe you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we totally I agree just, with you. Yeah, but I choose her because I think that at the end is a good person. You know. Okay. Yeah, Maybe a monster with. Justifying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it, okay. teacher. Thank you. Hey guys, let's continue. Okay, let's see. Now let's continue with the manual. Look, we got an exercise, page number 10. And the exercise for building vocabulary. We have to match these terms related to e-commerce to their corresponding meanings. Compare answers with a partner. We've got selection, instant gratification, deals, infinite shelves, brick and mortar store. Okay, and then you got the definitions. I need you to please do the matching. How are you gonna do it? Well, working in pairs, okay? But before anything else happens, let me get the, 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 the screen for you. Before I send you to the the groups okay i need you to do the matching i uh, you i will see switch your partners from the groups now okay groups are created please jump in and i'm sending you the screenshot in a second
check it in. I'll send you to a group right now. There you go. Hey, Nicholas. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Happy to have you here, my friend. I'm going to send you to another group, okay? Okay. Oh, thanks. no, there's Jacqueline here to work Jacqueline. with you. Okay, Jacqueline. I'm sorry, teacher. I need I, I, I need the picture or the I need the picture about the, the book. Okay, uh, I just sent it. I just sent it in the in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, I'm sorry, teacher. My name, my 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 number, my phone number no is in the WhatsApp. Okay, what? You are not in the group? Mm, I I I not. I know uh, my, my name no is in this group and the this group no I I I I no 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 veo el grupo in 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 WhatsApp really but did you did you este se unió con el enlace que le llegó en el correo ah uh, no teacher no En el último correo y tiene que haberle llegado un enlace. Aquí está. Thank you, teacher. Ahí es el enlace para el grupo. Yeah. In this moment, I I I I took connect. Okay. I I I, I took connect. Pero le voy a mandar ah, le voy a mandar la imagen directo al suyo. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. No problem. I'm gone, so you can work with Jack. Estantes infinitos. Mm. Maybe it's having a wide range of products from which customer can choose. What do you think? Um, Infinite shelves? Um, Mm, yes. Maybe, right? Yes. Which one? Infinite shelves. Infinite shelves. Yes, Let's infinite see. Shelves. Let's see. That's number four. Oh, the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in uh, e commerce stores. That is. Yep. That okay. Is. Well, I, I was wrong. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Deals when a website offer product for sale. Mm, I think if you said, I mean, you you know more about it. Deals is oferta. Well, mm, maybe. And instant gratification. Mm. Experience fulfillment with that. Maybe the desire, the desire to experience. Yes. Fulfillment without delay. Yeah. Fulfillment. 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 Yeah, I think that that is. And selection is the primera. The virtual, no, no ¿cuál era? Virtual. Teacher says that the virtual unlimited extent is mm -hmm. infinite shelves. So maybe selection is having a wide range of products. Selection, having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Yes, you're right. You're right, okay. So I think we are done. 
Yeah, number it's number one. Number four. one is mm -hmm. four. Yes. Number two is five. Okay, guys, let's see. Number one, selection. Uh, Roxana, tell me. Uh, let me see. Four. Mm, ay, espérame, se me fue. Um, the desire, no, selection. Yes, yeah, selection. Ay. Having a wild rank range of product from which customer can choose. Okay, perfect, thank you. Number one. Number two, instant gratification, Henry. Okay, do you hear me? Yep. Instant gratification for us, it, it was a, to desire to experience fulfillment without delay. That's quite right. Thank you. Okay. Ada, number three, deals. Deals is a traditional business that deals with its customer face-to-face -face in an office or a store. Oh, that's a little detail here, Ada. Let's see if we have if we have another opinion, let's see. Uh, Amber, what you got for deals? Maybe is when a website offers products for sale. Okay, thank you. That's a good deal. When a website offers products for sale. Number four, infinite shelves. Let's see, that's for Francisco. Sure. Uh, for me, it's the virtual unlimited stand and range of products available in e-commerce stores. Great. The virtually unlimited extend and range of products available in e-commerce stores. That's perfect. Now, number five, let's see. Um, Jose Rivas, would you mind reading number five, Brick and Morat Store? Yes. So uh, a traditional business that deals with a customer, it's, sorry, that deals with its customer face-to-face -face in an office or a store. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because actually this phrase, you know, this phrase uh, doesn't make sense if you try to translate it, but it refers to specifically about this. A traditional business that deals with its customers face-to-face -face in an office or store, okay? Questions about here, the vocabulary? Yes, teacher, I yeah. have a question. So I have... Wait. Oh, sorry, go ahead. 
Sorry, uh, when you say deals, you are talking about a specific um, action in a website or in general? Because the answer for me is some big walls. Because yeah, it is kind of, uh, the thing is this that we are talking specifically about e commerce. Okay. Okay. Uh, because the when we are talking about e commerce and you say deals, oh, it means that an specific way website is offering product. Because okay. actually the word means tratos, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the specific meaning. But remember that now that we are talking about uh, uh, communications online and stuff like that, some vocabulary has become different. So it has become technical. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No more? Yes. Me. Tell me. So can you please explain me a little bit about brick and mortar store so okay the remember this this expression cannot be translated uh -huh, cannot yeah. mm -hmm. because it doesn't make sense in spanish because brick and mortar uh, that means uh, mezcla y ladrillos but when you use this expression with this word at the end with the word store at the end oh you know that is a traditional business when we say a traditional business is not online, face-to-face, -face, a store, okay? That's brick and mortar store. It refers to, to, the, to the old ways when people used to build houses just with brick and mortar. It's like the weekend bird game. Bird game, so. No. When you use that expression, what you refer to, I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish for a second. Esa expresión se refiere específicamente a una tienda que lleva sus negocios eh, de forma tradicional, específicamente. Ah, okay. Okay. Not online, the old fashioned, okay? Que lo hacen a la antigua. That's specifically what you talk about when it's a brick and mortar business. Mm. Okay. No, now let's, thanks. no, thanks to you. It's always good when you ask, guys. Let's see. Now we got here. Read and label the statements below. What are they describing? Advantages or disadvantages of e-commerce? Read and write an A for advantages and D for disadvantages. Okay, more reach to customers. There are no geographic limitations when we talk about e-commerce. Tell me, what do you think? Is it an advantage or a disadvantage? Uh, an advantage. Stephanie? Advantage. Sorry? More rich to customers. Um, I have a question that okay. I don't understand. Rich is kind of a... Alcance. Alcance, ah, okay, okay. There are no geographic limitations. I think... I think... It's advanced, advanced. That to the to the advanced. to the clients, and they can okay. see. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, Heidi, number two. Anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. Tell me if it's good, an advantage, a disadvantage, and why. For me, maybe a disadvantage. Why? Because, well, because there are going to be um, bad in the market, bad business in the market and with the same conditions. Okay, perfect, thank you. Ana Claudia, number three. Uh, number three, customer's loyalty is not always guaranteed. T. Uh, that is a disadvantage, I think. Okay. And do you think that applies to e-commerce? 
No, because it depends on the service or products the e-commerce offers. Uh, most people purchase because of the brand or because of the service and that builds uh, loyalty. Okay, so for you it's not, I mean, it's secondary, the face-to-face -face, uh, connection you get with a seller in a regular store. Yes, and, and it, that is it's secondary, you're right, because I experience it. Uh, in my case, my job, um, I don't have a, a contact or I don't have a face-to-face -face experience with the customers just using my... Um, oh, but uh, you have a connection because you talk to them. Exactly. You convince them. Yeah, but that's not completely e-commerce because mm -hmm. e-commerce, when we use it like this is, I mean, that's a, there's a website, there's the product, you just click, 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 and it's yours. Mm -hmm. So in your case, there's a connection. I mean, uh, you you apply you your to the empathy. People. Yeah. Empathy, and, that is the word. Yeah, and you got, ah, okay. I mean, so when, there, when we're talking about an e-commerce, it's not the same as an online store. No. Ah, okay. When we talk about e-commerce in this context right now, we are talking about uh, like there's a platform where you go, uh, the, the company has like, if you want to buy a company here, like Siman, for example, you mm -hmm. just get into the their, their space into the web, you start looking for a certain uh, specific object, you click, click, fill in some information and that's it. But in the case of Siman, for me, it's an online store because if you need assistance, they have a online chat or a WhatsApp group. And I guess the difference will be on e-commerce, there is no human intervention, I think. Not yet. And there's not human intervention or human contact. It's not necessary. Okay. So in that case, customer loyalty is not always warranty. So I can say it's true, but that is, okay. yes, it's true, but it's not a, a disadvantage because I guess if we're, now that I understand what e-commerce is, they are always looking ways to improve and they are getting new customers. Okay, well, interesting, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, Ileana, low operational cost and better quality of services. I think that is an advantage. Okay. Because okay. maybe is, uh, the owner of the, of the business can save a lot of um, a couple of money uh, with uh, infrastructure. They don't have to have a physic store. So physical. maybe that's for me. That's an advantage. Okay, they can save a few dollars or a few a bucks. Few, okay, a few dollars. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, let's see, is it to start and manage a business? Fernando, what's your take into this statement? Uh, for me, it's advantage, teacher. Okay. It, and is it true? Uh, no, not, it's very easy, but uh, if you have access to the internet, uh, you can um, montar, no sé cómo, cómo decir montar. Set. Uh, you can set your, your own business in a, in a free website and offer products, but you need to um, ask for more the, the product and you need to other assets, but it's easy to start. At least for me, it's, it's, it's easy. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Okay, there are no sales when the website is down. Now let's see who's gonna talk to me about this. Hmm. 
Frank. Yes, teacher. The number that's, six. That's <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty clear, right? Yeah, obviously it's a disadvantage. This is Spanish. Okay, right? and there's no way out of it. Yeah, and it's true because I mean internet is the most important thing in, in the e-commerce, right? Yeah. First, there's no connection, there is nothing. The business is down. Yes. It's completely closed for the public, right? Yeah. That's a very big disadvantage because they are pretty dependent on the web. Yeah, right. Okay, well, interesting. Guys, it was a very nice class and I hope you enjoyed your activities. But before we finish, I need you to... Um, I need you to please do two activities for, well, just one for tomorrow. The other one, we're gonna do it here in the class. And it's exercise six. Well, let me share with you, it's better if I share it. Okay. Exercise six, write a 10 line paragraph about the two advantages and two disadvantages of e-commerce. That's your homework. You need to send your paragraph to me, okay? To me, or better yet, you can share it with, you can send it to me directly or you can share it with the group, okay? In the WhatsApp group, I need it for tomorrow before the class starts, okay? So this is an extra homework besides the one that you have to do in the in the platform, okay? So remember, it says here, you need to, oh man, let's see. Remember, write, a 10 line paragraph. Please, I need you to be aware of punctuation. That's something that I will be checking at because I need to help you improve on that. So don't worry if you make it bad. I mean, the idea is for me to, to help you out so you can fix it up. Okay, before we finish, I need to get the final attendance. And let me see. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambar Eli Alparo Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Uh, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Here I am teacher. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Alejandra, you stay with me tonight, please. Okay. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Hey guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate your participation in all the activities of the class. See you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, everybody. Good night. Bye, sir.
Good night. Bye, Elena. Bye, Roxana. Bye, Teacher, I have yes, a, I need a, I need help, help me. Um, when I start the class, I have a little problem with my microphone. I don't, I don't say present with the fierce attendance. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I got you there. Don't worry. Okay. See you. No problem. Good night. See you. Take care. Bye. My dear French fries lover. <laughs> Peter, hi. Hi, how are you, sweetie? I'm fine, you? I'm just great, just great, thank you. <laughs> Let me see, I got something nice for you. That I know you will enjoy. Let me see just what I got. It. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is it, what is it, what is it? Ah, hey, when this happens to me, don't go, don't go. I just need to check something here. Okay. Just a second, let's see. Oh, I hate what this happens to me. Okay. I need you to look in the Zoom chat, please. I need you to copy, paste, get into, please. Did it already? E Okay, now, is the exercise I'm sending you, the reason why I'm sending them to you is because it's something that is going to help you. And let's see, if you scroll down, you will see a lot of topics, okay? Those topics, and you will see that there are many more because you got them also in alphabetic order, okay? Uh -huh. And it's not just the, 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 the information there, you got extra activities. Now, why is that important or why do I want you to check it out? Because there you will find information related, not just English, but the culture, American culture, okay? So remember, uh, it's one thing when you see the words, but when you see them in a specific context, you identify them better and perhaps you grasp them better. They get into your mind in a clearer fashion, okay? Okay. So I would like you to, to start checking that info, take it slowly, okay? But, and let me know, let me know if it's helpful for you, if you check it out, okay? <laughs> Teacher, no, I try to hear the other audio. The other information that uh -huh. I sent you, yeah. But I change to a behinder because when I hear a child. Uh, say, oh, no, 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 no. But that one, oh, I forgot telling you. Le to listen to child speaking in English is very hard. Yes, and I don't understand when the child no, 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 no. a different word and I okay yeah, I but came to behind. <laughs> I will I will advise you to get back into the intermediate level. Just don't <laughs> get into the killed ones because it's not just the the the, the conversations, it's the vocabulary, it's the intonation, it's the topics. But uh -huh. if you want to finish the, the basic ones, even better. Uh -huh. I hear I mean, a different topic because when I hear a specific topic, uh, I don't know to why or the topic, but here a kid 
I do. Okay, no, no, I that's know. different. <laughs> no, that, that's completely different. Yes, I know, I know. It's pretty hard. Uh -huh. And I think that it's very difficult for me when I hear, for example, Wilfredo or Ana Claudia. I don't understand a lot of to talk or I don't know, but I think that... Um, uh, oh, the they, thing is this, that uh, they get in contact with people who who speaks English, uh, and that helps them to 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 get a a better level of vocabulary. Uh -huh. Maybe, uh -huh. and I think that uh, talk very fast, and I don't understand when I say different words, <laughs> and when I stay in a group with Wilfredo, I ask a lot of time to how to to mean for to explain <laughs> well this this is going to help you believe me because this is specifically for those situations to get vocabulary from the context ah. and it's explained in the context you like it check it out take your time check it out and please let me know if it's helpful or not because remember in this in these courses i got extra days so we can have this this 10 minutes more than once mm -hmm. okay so i can help you out besides you don't do nothing i mean look at you you are not even tired <laughs> i'm sure that right now you're gonna go watch a movie relax yes, yeah? i have a more time than other moms <laughs> that's cool that's cool so check it out and let me know if it's helpful. If it's not, let me know so I can give you something else for you to work on, okay? Okay, teacher. But do uh, it, do it. It's yeah, gonna help you a lot. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you for thinking about okay. <laughs> nah, No problem, no problem. Always a pleasure. Have a good night, okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's see what that was it. Okay, well, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.